Hey guys, how are you all? Today I will tell you about a CAPM, Capital Assets Pricing Model, guys. Right? Now, why we use this CAPM? We use this CAPM to calculate the required rate of returns, guys. Okay? And you know the formula of the CAPM. The RE is equal to RF in bracket RF minus RF into beta. This is a cal cal uh, formula of CAPM guys right now RF means what RF means uh, risk free rate guys now what is risk free rate suppose I have deposited the in a bank fixed deposit suppose I have the fixed deposit in a bank guys right now and uh, I have deposited in a security bond also US Treasury bills or government security bond bonds I am getting a 6% rate of return from this fixed deposit from this government bond or this US Treasury bills guys right without any risk I am getting a return without any risk that's why it is called a risk free rate RF right now what is RM RM means market rate of return RM means market rate of returns for example I have deposited in a bank I have the fixed deposit right and the government security bonds and I'm earning a six percent returns right now my boss says or my financial advisors or my friend right this is why you invested in a fixed deposit you are getting a six percent returns this is you do one thing you invest in a stock market for example XYZ company is there right you will get a 12 percent returns you will get 12 percent return now I am earning six percent from the fixed deposit or a treasury bills or government bond now they say you you just start to invest in a stock market so you will get a 12 percent but guys 12 percent it's risky yeah because it's a stock market and stock market is not a static sometime it goes up sometime sometime it goes down so that's why it's called a RM. It's called a RM. A market rate returns. So that 12% is nothing else, but it is a RM. A 12% is a RM. Now I am getting here 6%. They suggest me to do investment in a stock market. So so you so I will get a 12%. 6 minus 12 that is a 6 percent how much more percent I will earn I will earn a 6 percent return more how much 6 percent that 6 percent is nothing else but it's called a risk premium it's called a risk premium guys right so now RF your concept is clear RF means what RM is what and now risk premium is what now I will tell you about a beta beta is shows it shows that how your market is risky how your market is risky suppose your market is goes up so you have to assume that the two times my I will earn a profit you have to assume that two times I will earn a more profit and same like when the market will goes down so you are in loss right guys right guys so this is a, a capital assets pricing model after this calculation you will get a required rate of return you will get a required rate of return that is RE okay guys so if you have any doubt yet you can comment 
right and thank you thank you so much please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel okay guys bye thank you thank you so much